there. Don't you know it's rude to sneak up on girls? Well, there. Uh, it, it, it's all good. Sorry, I guess I'm just a little jumpy being out this late. You out here alone, too? Well, I guess we're not alone if there's two of us. <laughs> oh, it's almost a relief that I'm not the only one who got a bit lost in these woods. The path should lead right back into town, but I'm supposed to be heading further into the forest for a Halloween party. Some kind of camping area. But I haven't seen any signs pointing to it. There should be an old dirt road around here somewhere, but I can't find it in this darkness. Oh, you want to escort me there? Oh, you're an absolute sweetheart. I feel much safer with some company by my side. Who knows what kind of monsters are out there this time of year? <laughs> Yeah, I've been looking forward to this all week. How about you? What were you up to tonight before destiny crossed our paths? You were at a friend's house? Oh, sweet. More of a movie night or game night? Bit of both? Very cool. When I get home from the party tonight, I've got a couple of movies picked out to watch over the weekend. What were you playing? Dead by Daylight. Excellent choice, and very appropriate for this time of year. <laughs> Were you a survivor or the killer? Ah, your friend always plays killer. I'll bet those survivor skills come in handy during this time of year. Spotting hidden totems in the dark and listening for approaching footsteps are very important skills to have. But hopefully... I'll let you have a turn being the bad guy one day. <laughs> hmm? Oh, you like my costume? Oh, thank you. It took me ages to pick it out. I thought about going with the pack and picking a popular character from a movie or TV show, but Little Red is a classic, and it's one of my favorites. I've always been a fan of the classics, you know. Oh, last year, my girlfriends and I went as ghosts. We decorated our white sheets with spray paint, and it was amazing seeing the whole group together, adding some colorful fun to the spooky season. So many people take it so seriously, which is completely fair, and I very much respect the old traditions, but it should also be an occasion to relax and have some fun. Let out your wild side and all that. <laughs> Um, you do know where you're going, don't you? Uh, y you were following me? B but I was following you! Oh, shit. C can you hear anyone around us? Or see anything? Oh, it looks like we're lost in the middle of nowhere. All I can see around us are trees and a fog. I, I can't even see the path we followed to get here. Do you know the way back to town? No. Good. <laughs> You're used to playing Survivor, right? Let's put those skills to the test, little bunny. Oh, don't give me those pleading eyes. It only whets my appetite. <sighs> Run. As fast and as far as you can, while I count down from 30. Once I hit zero, then the big bad wolf is going to start her hunt, and you had best brace yourself for when I sink my teeth into you. Now, run. 30.
have you hopped off to, little bunny? Whatever burrow you're hiding in, you know in your bones that I'll eventually sniff you out. <laughs> I always find my prey, especially on nights like tonight, where the air itself is alive and trembling. Beasts like me come out to play. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run. I can tell I'm getting closer, little bunny. I can practically smell the nervous sweat running down your face. Feel the thunder and pitter-patter of your heart. Taste the fear and desperation pouring off of you. Run, run, run. Once I get the scent of my prey, I never give up the hunt. So just lie still and gaze up at me while I pin you down beneath me and take in my moment of victory. <clears throat> Don't struggle. You won't win, so save your energy for what's coming next. My, 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 what big eyes you have. <laughs> Lift that chin, little bunny. I want to see that pretty neck of yours. Hmm. Such a good little bunny. It's delicious to see you be nice and obedient for me. It shows you know your place in the food chain. And your place is here. Under my paws. Between my teeth. Trembling and weak. Now. Let's get a taste of that sweet neck of yours. Mmm, delicious. That scent of fear on your skin is intoxicating. <sighs> Don't struggle, or you'll quickly find out just how sharp my teeth are. I plan on taking my time with you, devouring you one bite at a time. But my jaws are big and wide and I can just as easily swallow you whole. But where's the fun in that? I do so love toying with my prey. And you, little bunny, are proven to be very amusing prey indeed. You know full well I could snap your neck like a twig should you try to escape. And yet, you still try to ride away from me. The forest isn't gonna help you. 
The ground isn't going to open up and snatch you away from me. No, no, little bunny. It's just you and me. And no one is coming to save you. So, are you going to be good? And give me my reward? Or am I gonna need to show you what happens to naughty little bunnies who try to flee from big bad wolves? <sighs> Both? Oh, don't tempt me with promises you can't keep. Now, are you surrendering, little bunny? You know what to say. Candy corn? Sure thing. Thank you for using your safe word. I'm going to ease off you, and you come here and let me hold you, okay? Hmm. Oh, your heart is still going so fast. It's okay. Steady your breathing. In and out. In and out. Good little bunny. You did so well, and I'm very proud of you. Mm. Thank you for agreeing to do this with me. It's important that I satisfy my hunting instincts this time of year. We've talked for a long time about how you wanted to experience a hunter-prey dynamic. But I know you were nervous tonight, and uh, I wanted to thank you for being so brave. <laughs> oh, I could tell you were nervous, little bunny. Your hands were shaking the moment we started walking into the woods together. But you were the perfect prey for me. And I hope I didn't scare you too much. Uh, did, did I do good? I, I, I wanted to scare you the way you wanted, but not too much. Oh, I was a good girl? Could, can I get some head pats since, since I was a good girl? <laughs> Thank you, my little bunny. <sighs> now, how are you feeling? Do you want to sit here for a bit longer, or did you want to get on my back and we'll head home? Ready to go back? Of course. Climb on up and we'll get out of this spooky forest. I wasn't lying when I said I had a couple of movies picked out, and there's all your favorite snacks in the cupboard and sodas in the fridge. I wanted to make sure that my little bunny was all nice and comfy when we got back, before I hold you to your promise. <laughs> what promise? Oh, the promise you just made, of course. To be a good little bunny and letting me take my reward? I still have other appetites that need to be satisfied this time of year, and I wouldn't want to be with anyone else but you. <laughs> but first, let's get home in one piece. There's plenty of monsters making mischief tonight, not just the two of us. <laughs> but don't you fear, my little bunny. So long as the big bad wolf is by your side, You'll never have to be afraid of the dark. If you enjoyed this ASMR tale and want to become one of the incredibly kind souls featured here, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. 
to access my Discord server, attend my monthly live narrations, and enjoy other perks, click on the Patreon link below. You can also catch me live on Twitch every Friday and Sunday evening, so be sure to drop by sometime. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and stay wicked and wonderful.